two dice are thrown, the number on the faces are added, and the result is recorded. List the sample space. Now, what is a sample space? A sample space. A sample space is a list of all possible outcomes. So, if you have two dice and you're throwing them, say, which are the possible ways in which you can get the numbers on the dice? Well, let's start from. You can get one and one. So what you do is, you add 1 and 1, that means you, the result is 2. You can get, say, 1, 2, and if you add the numbers, you get 3, and so on. Say you can get, say, 6, 4, and if you add the numbers on the dice, you get 10. So we want to list this in a proper order. So, so what we do is, we make up a column, uh, a set of column so let me make up the column let me use a line two so we need six rows and six columns one two three four five and six okay so let me highlight this and make this slightly bigger Okay, and here we need uh, six columns, say one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, the lines doesn't matter, so let me make it a bit neater. Okay, doesn't matter. So I'm going to write here, this is say die one. Let me call this die. This uh, vertically, I'm going to write die one. So that on die one, you can get one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to add that to the result on die two. So this is say die two, and I'm going to write one, two, three, four, five, six. And you could add the numbers, so 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4. I hope you can see the pattern here. Yeah? So now 2 plus 1 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 plus 1 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then you've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so you've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this is called the sample space of the possible outcome. So each one of them is an outcome. So, 2 is an outcome, 3 is an outcome, and 4 is an outcome, so on. So, let me look at the, let's look at the first question. So, the first question is, so let me drag this down. These are all questions. Okay, so, what is, now we want to use this table to find the probabilities. The question is, what's the result? Use the sample space, or the sample space, to calculate the following probabilities. That the result is even. Even means you can get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So there are how many outcomes? Okay, so there are 36 outcomes. So the probability would be out of 36. So how many are even? So let's circle the even outcomes. So this is 2. 3 is not even, so you've got 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 is odd, you've got 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 sixes. 7 is odd, 8, 8 is even. 3, 4, 5. And 10 is, 10 and 12 are even, so, and 12. 
So you get two how many times? You get two ones. Four you're getting one, two, three times. Six you're getting uh, six you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Six is for six times. Eight is for one, two, three, four times. Am I right? One, two, three, four. Ten you're getting for three times. Uh, four is one, two, yeah, one, two, three, yeah. Ten you're getting one, two, three, okay, and twelve you're getting for one time. There's again a pattern here, okay. So if you add these numbers, what's the number? So this is if you add them, so this is four plus six is ten, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen out of thirty-six, okay. So this is eighteen out of thirty-six. And that does make sense. It is 1 out of 2. So it's 50% probability or the probability that a number is even is half. So you can get either half. 1 half is same as 0.5. You can also write this as a percent. This is there's 50% probability that the total can be even. The number is greater than 8. The next probability is greater than 8. What is the total number of outcomes? You've got 36 outcomes. So greater than 8 means 9, 10, and 11. So you've got 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 out of 36. You can simplify this as 5 over 18. You can leave this as the answer as it is. Okay, so let me look at, let's look at the next question. Let me make it bigger. The result is less than 4. The probability is less than 4. So again, this is out of 36. Less than 4, that means you got 2 and 3. Okay, so that is 1, 2, 3. 3 out of 36. Uh, you can divide both by 3. So 3 divided by 3 and 36 divided by 3. You can use a calculator. So this is 1 out of 12. The probability of uh, having the sum or the total less than 4 is 1 out of 12. And the last question, let me make it bigger. The result is 6. Okay, I can read it. Okay, let me do it here. The result is 6. So how many 6s can you get? You can get 6s in 6 possible ways out of 36. So that is 6 out of 36. And if you simplify this, this is 1 out of 6. So there's 1 out of 6 chances of getting a 6 when you throw two dice and you add the numbers on the top.